being here, being a part of the NFL, did you have a moment where you realized, oh crap, I'm a professional football player now? Did you have that welcome to the NFL moment? That moment, I feel like it hit you your whole career at the NFL. Like I can just, I remind myself like that all the time, like before games, just doing pre-game warm-up, like you really in the NFL. Like you look around the stands, the stadium, everybody around you, like you really here. Like you don't really think about it because you get there. Anything you do, like once you get there, like it's not the same as when you thought about it in the past, when you were dreaming and working to get there. Are you surprised by the amount of opportunities you've had on the field so early in your career? Actually not because like that was my mind was set for. That was what I was going toward, that's what I worked for. So I don't feel like I was just surprised by it. I wish I had more opportunities than I did have. You've played every single position on the offensive line between college and the pros and high school and you, through your whole career, you have played at every single position. Is there one that you genuinely like more than the others? Center? Like, it, it'll be between center and tackle. I know tackle is crazy because I'm so small, but when I did play tackle, I enjoyed tackle, but center and tackle, that's for sure my top two, center number one. What is it about being center you like so much? Oh, uh, you just in the center, like, you got your boys next to you, you setting the table for everybody, running the show, and it just all starts up front with you. How hard is it to switch from position to position? Because with the Tennessee Titans, you have done that. How hard is that mentally to adjust? Switching between like, if you go from tackle, guard, guard, tackle, or whatever, like flipping sides, I don't feel like that's too much, like, cause it's a little technique thing. But like just being in the offensive line room, if you locked in, we all drill together, we're all in the same meetings. So if you just pay attention, like you see what the tackle's learning. You see it with the right tackle, right guard, left guard, left tackle. And so like once you're out there, it's just translating that technique, like just flipping it in your body. Well, that's how I, like my mind works. So I don't feel like it's too much of a change. It, it come down in the day, like you still doing the same thing, same objective, same technique, just different spot. You've had so much success as an offensive lineman. Is it true that at one point you wanted to be a tight end? 100%. Seriously? Yes, I, I wanted to do everything like that's really what it was like i enjoy playing offensive line and tight end that was you basically playing offensive line being a receiver all in one so you just getting the best of both worlds like, yeah i was all in to go to tight end your teammates the number one comment that they make about you is about your athleticism does that make you feel good that a bunch of professional athletes who i'm assuming you really respect are impressed by your athleticism that made me feel amazing when we had to top of the game, top tier, and I'm still hearing the same thing. So, hey, somebody ain't lying, I get, yeah. It's for sure a confidence builder. Also, your resilience and your relentless attitude. That's another thing we hear about a lot. Um, Mike Vrabel has commented on that a bunch. He's explosive, he's quick, uh, he's tougher than, you know, $2 steak, and, um, you know, he, he, uses, he understands the angles and trying to get to guys, and. You know, understands pad level, um, you know, technique, and you know, those are a lot of things that um, that he can do that that somebody that's bigger can't. You know, just the, the way that he moves. So, um, most of, I just like the way he competes. I like the way that he shows up to work every day and, and and is willing to to compete. Is that something that you've had to learn to be resilient and relentless, or is that just a part of you and who you are? I would say it's been a part of me. But at the same time, like it's grown as I've gotten older as well. Like just building that mental strength and just never folding. Don't care what the situation is, like I'm gonna handle it. Like we're gonna find a way to get it done. And now here you are yes, having as much success as you've had so far this season. Yes, ma'am. Bless. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for a while. Ain't no problem. Thank you.